Lionel Messi has been absolutely mesmerizing to watch this World Cup. These movements when he picks up the ball in these deeper midfield areas are so good to watch. And the older he's got, the more he's starting to adapt to receiving the ball in these sorts of pockets. And the way he's developed positionally over the past few years, because he's slowly physically declining, is incredible and so intelligent. The way he can evade pressure with his body strength when the midfield areas get too congested, the way he can still worm himself out of these tight pressing scenarios with his two-way, two-footed dribbling, the way he still has these little bursts of explosive on the ball when dribbling despite his age he's so good and we're never going to see anything like him again Netherlands even tried to man mark him using the third centre back Omar and Darun but look how strong and technically capable he is when he pins his markers he's almost impossible to dispossess because of his upper body strength and why does Lionel Messi drop into these deeper areas well because he's probably got the best passing I have ever seen these lofted passes from these deeper areas especially this season for PSG my word don't get me wrong it helps having Kylian Mbappe and Neymar being on the receiving end of the these passes but the weight the placement the angles in which he's playing these passes are simply incredible and because of these positions that Lionel Messi is playing in both for club and country it is quite common that we'll see Lionel Messi being the deepest lying midfield player and there is a chance that if Lionel Messi really wanted to he could continue playing at the elite level in this position for many 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 years and just rely on his deep passes alone because Argentina have a midfield of workhorses Enzo Fernandez, Rodrigo De Paul, Alexis McAllister, Leandro Paredes these are players who can rotate in and out of midfield with Lionel Messi and when it comes to defending transitions they have the numbers around Messi and the legs around Messi to recover the ball in a fast instance if it is lost and he's the single pivot but don't be deceived Messi is still as effective as he used to be in the final third in the second phase when they are building a slight bit deeper he does tend to drift into midfield and play in these deeper lying areas but when the ball is working its way to that final third you best believe he's between the midfield and defensive lines trying to find just an inch of space and when he's given it he can do anything he can unlock a defence with a tight ball in behind and carry the ball across the penalty area and delay the pass until the right precise time. He can shoot from outside the box, he can work himself into the box and shoot himself. He is still an absolute weapon in the final third. The most frightening thing about his passing is the fact that he barely even has to scan to see a runner. He just knows where players are going to be and what zone to put the balls into. And I like to call this position from Lionel Messi almost a quarterback light role. We're seeing one of the greatest passes of all time, dropping into these really deep areas to get on the ball and be a team's deep line playmaker while still being able to operate in between the defensive and midfield lines of the opposition when the play gets forward. And to think that Lionel Messi is 35 doing this for his national team, he has everything that a footballer needs technically. And his career maturity, adaptation and development into these somewhat deeper roles and playing somewhat of a false 10 role just shows how much class he does have. And it is actually quite upsetting because I don't think we'll ever see a player like this ever again.